Hello from Singapore. This is Galinda. Today is uh, April the 19th. We have entered day 13th of the circuit breaker period. And today is laundry day for me again. So I went to uh, my usual laundry place to drop off my laundry. And I'm walking back to my hotel now. During normal times before coronavirus, before COVID-19, Orchard Road is the heart of Singapore and the most bustling place with um, locals and tourists. And now it's like a ghost town. Everyone is required to wear a mask in public unless you're exercising. After the circuit breaker period, a lot of small businesses will be shut. Unfortunately, livelihood will be very difficult after this time. The Singapore government is doing what they can to support these small businesses and to help the foreign workers who are currently in Singapore, whether they're ill or they're healthy. It is in fact a lot more than other countries have been doing. It will take some time for the economics and people to regenerate after the circuit breaker period, or in fact, after this whole COVID-19 situation has settled. Everyone tends to be rushing back to normal. But have you thought about what is the normal that we are rushing back to? Instead of ordering takeaway today, I have decided to try out the room service and I've ordered Hainanese chicken rice. In recent years, Singapore's national dish, the Hainanese chicken rice, um, is stepping up into the limelight on the international stages. In 2011, CNN listed this dish as one of the 50 best foods in the world. This dish received further attention when it was um, showcased by international chefs and famous television personalities such as Gordon Ramsay and the late Anthony Baudon. There are three components to an authentic dish, the most important being the rice, then the sauces, dark soy sauce, chili, garlic chili sauce, and uh, mushed ginger sauce. And finally, the chicken. Both locals and tourists love this dish. But do you know the history behind it? When early Chinese immigrants from Hainan in southern China came to Singapore, they brought with them a dish called Wenchang Chicken, Man Cheng Gai, Wen Chang Ji. Today, the Hainanese chicken rice can be tracked back to its Hainan roots and Cantonese adaptation. The chicken is blanched till cooked and then submerged in freezing cold water for more tender meat and jelly-like skin. is basically translated as have you eaten? And it's a common greeting among Chinese, both old and young. And it's a fantastic way to ask someone, how are you? It's funny how my family loves to talk about food and we can go on and on and on about a restaurant we like or dislike about a dish that we like or dislike. My mother used to run a restaurant in Germany for nearly 30 years. And a lot of my memories and time spent with her and my younger brother were in the kitchen. It's not a secret that we love our food, especially the Asian culture that we have inherited from our mother. Women and mothers in Asia of my mother's generation were not known for their warmth or caring characters. As a child, I never heard my mom said she loved me. Instead, she would express her love through food. And my mom was the best cook in the world. And when Asians get together, and I consider a big part of myself as Asian, we talk about food all the time. Sometimes it's the only thing we talk about. There is something magical when talking about food. It brings back memories and comfort. And for that reason, we love to share. It's such an important part of a person's identity and culture. 
Food history offers an understanding of what we eat in a broader context of migration patterns and cultural exchanges. So, if someone chooses to share their home food with you, appreciate it for what it means to them.